Hello, my name is Mike Raj. This is for GCU concepts in biochemistry. I'll be talking about a voltage gated ion channel. So what is voltage gated ion channel? These are excitable, um, these are needed for excitable cells to produce electrical signals, which help to convey messages. Uh, it's a, uh, it needs, ex uh, the, the excited cells use this voltage gated ion channel. So it's a must for these types of cells. The charge is caused by imbalances in electrochemical gradient. So that's, that, that's the, uh, that's the formation for charges. And typ typical inorganic ions are uh, sodium, potassium, calcium, and chlorine. These are needed for functioning of neurons and myocytes and other excitability uh excitability for sensory cells so the uh, these are the uh phrases to remember electrochemical gradient um this is a combination of concentration and electrical potential Chemical concentration gradient, concentration of ions, ion electric gradient, uh, electric potential due to ions, cations, which are positive ions like potassium, anions, which are like uh, negative ions like chlorine. Uh, chlorines are called dimmers because there is no there is no need for excess amount of chlorine ions. Mm, it only needs, the cell only needs 25% of the normal required amount uh, for the successful utilization of a cellular mechanism. Uh, Preamble membrane is the membrane which allows the ions to flow back and forth. Ion flux, which just means flow of ions. Systolic, which means inside the cell, cellular fluid matrix. Intercellular, outside the cell, extracellular matrix. So what are the types of voltage-gated ion channels? Sodium channels potassium channels, chlorine channels, calcium channels, and photon channels. These are the five types of channels typically found uh, in uh, mammals. Voltage gated channels and neuronal communication. So the voltage gated channels are central for neuronal communication. Uh, Sodium and potassium channel carries the depolarization wave along the action potential. Uh, the end of the neuron releases the calcium and neurotransmitters which relay communication to other neurons. The strength of the times of the neuronal firing determines the response and not firing, uh, not, uh, not the firing. So in a sense, uh, voltage cattle, uh, gated channels and neuronal communication behave like an analog system, not a digital system. So it has a varied response. Neurotoxins work by blocking or slowing down neuronal ion channels. This makes neurotoxins the most deadly and lethal. The venom from snake poison is a neurotoxin and acts fast and is required in very small doses for it to work effectively, biologically speaking. Mechanisms of sodium and potassium pump. So the resting membrane potential uh, is a minus 60 millivolt, which is the required for depolarization, effective de depolarization. So these are the steps. For the first, uh, is the stimulus triggers action potential to transverse along uh, the axon of the neuron of question. The action potential depolarization is initiated by release of sodium ions from the cell. In a split second, a microsecond, the uh, potassium channel is opened, thus re-releasing the ion from the cell. So the sodium floods into the cell while potassium ions leaves the cell. The potassium leaving the cell is called repolarization and sodium flooding in is called depolarization. When the action potential reaches the axon, calcium two plus channels is opened, thus causing influx of calcium to ions. And this increased influx of calcium to ions results in the release of 
more calcium and neurotransmitters into the synaptic club. So this is step five. And step six, neurotransmitter binds to the lignin gated channel, thus causing sodium and calcium to flood into postsynaptic synaptic neurons. This causing this causes action potential in the postsynaptic neurons. So essentially, this constitutes an entire cycle. This uh, and the single cycle of neuronic impulse signaling. So. This is the part of a neuron with functions. This is the nucleus. The nucleus you can see, uh, dendrites, which receive signals, cell bodies, organizes, and keeps the cell functional. Uh, cell membrane protects the cell. Uh, axon hillock, th that is the threshold that is necessary for an impulse, cat, uh, an impulse to be sent. Node of Renvier. Um, allows diffusion of ions. Schwann cell produces the myelin sheet. The myelin sheet increases the speed of the signal. Axon, axon is the traveling um, uh, membrane, the signal membrane that tra which transfers the signals to other cells and organs. Axon terminal, this forms junction with other cells. And nucleus which controls the entire new neuron. So a certain threshold needs to be reached for each neuron, for the, that neuron to send the impulse along the axon, uh, axon. If that threshold is not reached, then the signal is not sent. As you can see, uh, it's a comparison of AI chip and human brain. So the, these neurons are connected, and the uh, release of the CA along with the neurotransmitters causes uh, the other cell, the other neuron, uh, the postsynaptic neuron, to receive these uh, these neurotransmitters and CA, calcium ions, uh, absorb them through the dendrite, and causes it to start the uh, neuronal signal uh, cycle. So these neurons, it has been estimated that there is around more than one trillion, one trillion uh, plus neurons in the brain because it's so condensed, but it has not been confirmed. So the mind has huge potential and it has been said that mm, the brain only uses five watts of energy. So incredible potential. It's a biological uh, computational machine and this is intricately linked so that as as the neuron fires impulses the the the, the one which is receiving and uh, gets um gets strengthened by the one who's sending the, the the neuron which is sending so signals um create a channel and the channels contain memory and so the more you think about something, the more you learn, the more you study and more focus on, the more likely that you'll be stored for long term uh, for long term memory. And so it can be easily recalled. Well, those uh, focusing on short term memory, it, it is not readily available and you, you easily forget. So there is uh, a short term memory, uh, which covers up to five minutes. A medium uh, memory, which is around uh, a few hours, then long-term memory, which which lasts long, longer than uh, as long as the brain is capable of handling that uh, long-term memory. The so causes uh, for dysfunctional or deregulation. So the first one is mutation, genetic change, uh, which is natural. Um, as 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 one progresses, uh, uh, genes are changed through uh, through through chemical means, through physical, through electromagnetic, and so forth. So these mutations, yes. So but but these mutations can also be inherent in certain people, 
autoimmune diseases body's natural friend and foe mechanism is dysfunctional and so resulting in the killing of stuff so this is essentially biological self destruction uh, the body is unable and incapable of identifying which of the uh, molecules or cells is foreign or foreign and so it starts uh, killing or culling um which are which are the cells which are natural to that person defect in transcription of normal genes this is new to me i didn't realize that even if, even though the person might have a good quality gene which does not have any mutations or inherent a uh, uh, deviant uh, deviation from no, no, normal genes it still will have difficulty and still will cause de deregulation because because of the defect in the transcription process and also in the translation process once something uh, defect happens in the transcription then the translation gets uh, the, the transcription the trans uh, translation also uh, will contain the defect mislocation within the cell this is due to the fact that voltage gated channel is iron specific and is membrane bound and it needs to be located in the right location for regulating the inward and outward flow of ions from the cell so it has to be membrane bound if for some reason the cell is experiencing distress or the 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 voltage gated channel is not membrane bound or it is not located in the right uh, place uh, for the right iron then um, the dysfunction or deregulation can happen this is this happens uh, because of the uh, cellular matrix is changed this is especially true for cancerous cells when the it cancerous cells goes from tumor state to metastasis where it um, changes the cellular matrix and makes it more uh, pliable or, or changeable to the shape and less rigid and uh, can move throughout the body voltage gated uh, channel dysfunction diseases so these are the few diseases cytokine storm actually uh, this has been reported in some instances where when the first wave of covid came covid-19 during 2021 the start of 2022 uh, 20 and 2021 the sudden release of uh, messenger molecules uh, you know, for some per, uh, some uh, for for people who are who are unable to endure the um, the covid-19 virus mm, got bloated and their natural body functions were not properly were working properly because the sudden release of messenger molecules throughout the body the whole biological function was confused it's like a huge traffic jam in the biological sense ecm extracellular matrix dysfunction this uh, dysregulation it has been said that around most of the most of the uh, diseases that originate have ecm issues extracellular matrix issues whether it be channels or uh, glycoprotein issue or uh, some kind of uh, dysfunction happens in that more than half of uh, diseases uh, happen at the extracellular matrix level and other half happens within the internal um, internal um, cellular matrix epilepsy epilepsy means sudden irregular electric flow well electric flow and jittering and stuff anderson syndrome factors myotonia um, which is uh, thompson's myotonia but these two are they deal with the um, muscular nature um, um uh, uh, deals with the, the muscles and the uh, tenderness and the uh, weakness of the muscles because of the lack of voltage gated channel uh, dysfunction and spinocerebellar ataxia spinocerebellar ataxia voltage gated channel regulating medicines so these are the medicines calcium channel blockers which are smooth muscles relaxers uh, which are heart relaxers uh, nemo define 
which are used uh, to reduce the, the palpitation issues, sudden palpitation issues and so forth. Mm. Then sodium channel blockers prevents depolarization. Without depolarization, no conduction of pain signals, uh, meoderone and lidocaine. Um, lidocaine um, particularly is used in conjunction uh, with deblocker nerve painkiller for dental surgery. Mm -hmm. And there's benzocaine, lidocaine, the, the cane family, these are painkillers. They prevent the, uh, they prevent the natural repolar depolarization. So pain sensation, the sensory, uh, the pain sensation is not um, conveyed to the brain. The problem with these kinds of uh, sodium channel blockers is that if it's excess is used, then oxygen depression will result and uh, the person will turn blue and eventually die. If excess uh, lidocaine and the, those type of uh, painkillers are used. The H plus blockers, H plus blockers, which is a proton blockers, are, reduces gastric juices, uh, which helps in reduction of acidity. Uh, this is this helps for those people uh, who have excess uh, acid juices and it causes um, have I think it uses gastrointestinal issues. Omeprazole. This is one of the examples of the medicines. I think this is mainly H blockers are mainly used for those who are elderly and those who have uh, gastrointestinal issues. So the the conclusion. Uh, the conclusion drawn here is that voltage gate ion channels necessary for fast relay of communication. This is especially for central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. So any defect will result in abnormal functioning of the body and will be readily manifest like epilepsy. And some of the diseases will make the skin so sensitive that even with the light touch, pain can be felt because of the sudden depolarization um, and so forth. Voltage gate and ion channel blockers provide an avenue to ameliorate the symptoms of numerous diseases, including but not related to the ion channel dysfunction, um, like uh, epilepsy. So these are the references. We have one, two, three, four, five. And these two references uh, are used because um, the, the pictures were taken from these two references. And once again, my name is Mike Raj. This is for GCU class, Concept in Biochemistry. Um, and this presentation was about voltage-gated ion channels. Thank you.